I've said it many times, but it becomes more real to me every day. There is not a university in the country that means as much to its state as WVU means to West Virginia. From the beginning as an agricultural university with just six students, to our role as a premier 21st century land-grant institution with nearly 32,000 students, WVU has always been focused on the people of West Virginia, their health, their security, their success, and their future. Imagine healthcare in West Virginia without this university. One of the things that's very exciting about WVU is its unique position in the state and its unique mission to really serve the state. There's very much this land-grant mission orientation, if you will, that I was attracted to. And I think if we're successful, it will pay huge dividends, uh, not only for the university, but for the residents of the state of West Virginia. We're all in this together. I'm a native West Virginian. I love the entire state of West Virginia. I love West Virginians. And, uh, you know, to be able to practice and deliver and give my expertise to people from my own home state, I can't think of a better place to be. We actually provide to the state almost $80 million in uncompensated health care for those in the state who need that health care and that health care support. We're very proud of that. And this university fills a big gap health sciences campus and the hospital in terms of providing care for patients, providing access to services, and, and providing state-of-the-art care. We're the flagship university in the state, and I can't imagine health care in West Virginia without WVU. Imagine the economy in West Virginia without this university. We are the economic engine for the 21st century. I love this city and I love this state and I love the university. I'm a graduate of the law school um, and I, uh, I, I'm very excited about the collaboration between the city and the university. WVU is very important because we're a leading research institution, but we're also a leading producer of what we call human capital. And human capital, particularly highly educated individuals, are the cornerstone of future economic growth. I'm really passionate about the idea that education really does transform lives. I've been able to see that work throughout my career, but particularly over the last two years, we can specifically get in there hands-on and help people that really may never step foot in a college, traditional college classroom. So we provide the education that's needed to improve lives every single day, and that's really exciting. Well, WVU's National Alternative Fuels Training Consortium is the only nationwide organization in the country that does what we do, and that is to focus on alternative fuel vehicles and advanced technology vehicles. It's going to take all the energy resources that we have in this country if we're going to decrease our dependence on foreign oil. And I think what we bring is cutting edge technology that you won't find anywhere else. And it's right here in West Virginia at WVU. Well, first, it's important to realize WVU is stable and we are strong. We've had a great history and we're gonna have a great future. We have the ability to be a national and international powerhouse in terms of education and research. The NOICE is a National Science Foundation program to address the serious need for science and math teachers in the U.S. In order for the U.S. to maintain competitiveness globally, we're going to have to focus on training people in the technical fields. This particular project is a great foundation for enhancing um, education in science and math and eventually research in those areas at WVU. Imagine West Virginia without the Mountaineers. Without the Mountaineers, the state would be wild but not wonderful. Like I know this is where I belong. WVU has made me feel that way. I know I'm from Detroit, Michigan, but WVU is a part of me as well. I feel like whenever I walk around campus, I don't know everybody, but I at least recognize most faces and that's when it really kind of sunk in that, you know, Morgantown and West Virginia as a state is where I want to be. 
I feel that the internships and my resume blow people away every day and it's because of WVU that I have the outstanding uh, resume, the outstanding friends, and just my network is gonna be tremendous when I get out of school. I'm from Baghdad, the capital, from Iraq. The, the important thing, you know, for me and for my people uh, to come here to find uh, new facts, to find new solutions. This is my great ambition. The Souter Lab makes molecular recognition elements, and those are biomolecules that bind very tightly to a specific target. It can be, you know, a piece of metal, it can be an airplane crack, or it can be explosives or, you know, the flu. And so we're working together with the Army to produce these MREs, molecular recognition elements, so that they can incorporate them into their sensing devices. I do it because you can save a lot of people's lives. I stepped off the plane and I knew that that was where I needed to be. Well, in the future, I want to work on poverty reduction and development, mainly in Sub-Saharan Africa. Now I have a focused career path and I know what I want to do with my life. I think we have much to do here in the state of West Virginia in raising educational attainment across the state and improving the health and quality of life and business opportunities for West Virginians. So I believe that we will have a tremendous role in the years ahead in trying to accelerate the future for this great state. When I played here, uh, one of the assistant football coaches came up to me and he said, you know, I just want you to always remember the greatest resource in the state of West Virginia is its people. And, that, and uh, you know, now experience it the way I've experienced it, he's absolutely right. Today, as the university prepares for our next 150 years, we will still focus first on West Virginia because the future of the state is tied so closely to the strength of this institution and the success of this institution will chart the success of our state. What WVU accomplishes in our classrooms, in our clinics, in our boardrooms, and in our research labs will forecast West Virginia's future and its role in the nation and the world. WVU, West Virginia's gift to the world. This isn't just any university. This is our university. West Virginia's gift to the world. West Virginia's gift to the world.